I made my husband his favorite dish for Father's Day. Corn beef and cabbage, Reuben style. It's that time of year again where I get to hook my hubby up, set that oven at 300, put some water in the bottom of that pan, and let's go ahead and clean this nasty, nasty piece of meat. But that's gonna turn out oh so delicious. Listen, this bag right here is everything. Do not lose it, do not lose it. I'm simply rinsing, rinsing off all the blood-like stuff that's on the corned beef. I can sense blood, but I don't want no parts of it, so I'm giving it a good wash over. Um, I put some water at the bottom of the pan it's gonna sit in, and that's all you need. That's it. You don't need no seasoning. The corned beef is already salty. Your only job is to take this little packet and sprinkle it all across. That's it, that's all, and cover it up. Now that we have it covered up real good, we're gonna go ahead and set it to four, maybe five hours, but I'm gonna start with four because, you know, your girl like to walk away and do other stuff. But on the side, we're having cabbage. I already cut it up. It was a fresh cabbage, all chopped, finely chopped. Go ahead and rinse it off and get ready to get it fried. My favorite part of corned beef and cabbage is the onions. To me, it just adds the perfect amount of seasoning to a fried dish such as this. You know, we are a family that loves onion flavor. Okay, now that the stuff is all chopped up, we're gonna get some olive oil and coat the pan, heat it up. I'm gonna put it all the way on the, a high degree, close to high burning, because we want it to fry, okay? Can't fry nothing on medium. Now that it's all hot, I'm gonna go ahead and throw those onions on and go ahead and get that aroma and that flavoring going in that oil. You know, something about onions and some fresh olive oil burning on the bottom of the skillet. Make the food delicious, I'm telling you. Take my word for it. And then I'm gonna go ahead after it browns and throw the cabbage on top. Okay, now that that's all mixed up real, real good, got um, olive oil spread across the onions and the cabbage, and now I'm gonna use this seasoning. Listen, it's no salt as you can see. We are trying to stay healthy now, but this has still got good flavor, but it's saving your blood pressure.
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add some pepper. This is a salt and pepper grinder, but I'm only using the pepper side. You twist one side is salt, one side is pepper, but I'm gonna add some pepper. That seasoning didn't have enough spice to it, in my opinion. You can actually season your cabbage any way you want, but these are the things that I prefer. Prefer, or even some salt, pepper, garlic, that'll work too. And you're simply gonna let that fry until it's brown, not too soft, but not firm either. So, you know, let it steam, let it fry. You should have some dark burnt part of the cabbage and some, it just should be crispy and delicious. And now I'm gonna go ahead and baste the corned beef because it is cooking perfectly. <laughs> Yum! Now it's time to assemble that sandwich. Got that sauerkraut, that Swiss cheese, that rye bread, that mustard. Let's go. Go ahead and butter your breads. Put some Swiss cheese on the bottom. It's got to be like kind of layered. Put a little bit of sauerkraut. Go ahead and slice that corned beef thin enough to make sandwich like. And then put another piece of Swiss cheese to top it all off. And then... Let it cook on one side, flip it, cook it on the other side, flip it, and tack out. It's time to eat. I don't even give a damn